Oh, what is that? It's wet out there. Bloody tourists! We got the rubber duck. Oh, there's the rubber duck. So here we are, start of the day. We are at KTM UK. We've got username Kate with us on this little adventure and we've got Aaron from Knox hanging around somewhere as well. Today we're riding the 790 Dukes to Wales. And then when we get to Wales, we're staying obviously overnight tonight and then tomorrow at the Sweet Lamb facility, we're going to be uh, playing on the adventure version and then riding the adventure version home. So basically you're gonna have a good good taste of the uh, 790 Dukes. As you know, if you've seen my recent comparison I did with Greg with the, with the 790 versus the G6AS, we both decided the 790 was a much more dynamic machine. This one is actually fitted with the upgraded WP uh, suspension. So this has got the WP upgraded um, cartridge kit and also nestling in there, the WP rear shock as well. So I'm going to be starting on the upgraded bike because I've ridden the standard one. I think this grey one here was the one I rode before. So I'm going to start on the upgraded one with the upgraded suspension. So I mean these are now 799. I think they've actually got a thousand pound off at the moment as well. So you can get one of these 699 at the moment. So basically that will probably pay, that thousand pound saving will pay for that suspension upgrade. So it'll be really interesting to see how much difference that WP suspension upgrade makes. We actually found the standard suspension really, really good, even though it's not adjustable, it's just been set up you know, in a nice way. Loads of support, sporty still, but I'll be really interested to see how the WP aftermarket differs. It's got some twiddly bits. So here we are, about to leave. I'm going to be starting on the uh, the WP'd up version. So this has got the kit, the kit stuff in it, as I mentioned. Apparently it's 69 quid for the cartridge kit and the shock. So, you know, the next step, this is proper, proper decent stuff as well. But the next step up from this would be a full fork replacement. So with a thousand pound off these at the moment, eight, eight, six can get you a properly sorted 790 with kit suspension so we're off to wales the forecast is actually pretty dreadful <laughs> we're lucky at the moment we've got some sunshine you know what you're doing yeah you're doing. i know what i'm doing mate you're all right yeah. i got gotcha. you so ktm uk is on the silverstone industrial estate so we're going basically from silverstone to aberystwyth the sweet lamb facility the off-road ktm facility is at near aberystwyth so, so our destination is aberystwyth probably about 160 odd miles from here and apparently they've got a really good route there are no motorways all brilliant roads let's just hope this sun stays out and we can dry out these roads a little bit so who have we got with us on this run we've got username kate in front you all know kate by now she's riding the delicious gray version and we've got aaron from knox hey <laughs> You know, all the gear I wear, all this jackets, trousers. God, it's so fast, this bike. It's all Knox gear and uh, Knox have their own YouTube channel. So if you haven't found the Knox YouTube channel, I'll link to Kate's channel and Aaron's Knox channel in the, in the description and at the top of the screen. So uh, go and check out their version of the day and obviously subscribe. Where we're staying tonight, they've got a hot tub, you've got your own private hot tub, it's like a bit of a, a yurt, you know, a bit of glamping, but you've got your own hot tub and stuff, so <laughs> I've packed the mankini, so uh, we'll, bring you, uh, we'll bring you something from the hot tub later. All, all very decent, of course. Oh, Kate's throwing shit at me. <laughs> Scatting. The riding position on the Duke is also really good. If you're a bigger guy like me, I still find it really comfortable. Yeah, physically, you know, it's a little bit of a small machine, but all of these middleweight the nakeds are, you know, and this is probably, I guess, one of the bigger ones, actually. So it's a little, physically a little bit small for a great big 20 stone fatty, but it doesn't feel cramped to ride. The bars feel a little bit close to you, I suppose, but I'm still sort of, I'm outstretched in the arm. My knees are at a comfortable angle. 
my feet are sort of behind me a little bit so it's quite a sporty sort of position and what is brilliant the seat is really wide so you've got comfort because the seat's really wide it's a little bit thin so we'll see how we get on today after so it's probably going to be six hours in the saddle today maybe longer so we'll test out the comfort of this seat but i find this a really comfortable bike throttle response is in track is what we want anti-wheelie off launch control we've got launch control as well for heaven's sake man do you want anything else the brakes are the jean one branded brakes they're okay i mean that that's sort of the main difference from the more expensive duke model certainly like the the duke car you come with the style emas and mcs master cylinder probably the weakest point of this bike is is the brakes but you know they're just a little bit wooden there's plenty of power there when you pull them but they just feel a little bit wooden but that's probably the only area of the machine that gives you any clue that this is <laughs> a seven or eight thousand pound motorcycle unbelievable it's definitely got that sort of mini super duke feel this bike it feels like a mini super duke half the price of a super duke this is and it's it's not half the fun i tell you Wee 95 horses 95 austrian horses well you could say chinese horses but austrian horses and uh, yeah it feels like it feels punchy fast lovely 95 chinese horses tethered and pulling in unison working under terrible conditions <laughs> looks really really good doesn't it uh, modeled by username kate she's having a sniff she's having a sniff to see if there's an overtake on the on the cards sing bike i am look at that is that someone's house it's not bad is it not bad little place for it <laughs> certainly got the curb appeal enjoy it kate good isn't it Boosh. look over there definitely heading into a bit of rain now so we're gonna have a little swap round of the bikes so that's the end of the the kit suspension we're going to go on the standard bike now yeah we've got supermoto mode on the abs so it's like i do some skids on this one oh it's getting dark and gloomy gonna get wet we're gonna get wet today what is impressive is just uh, that bottom end grunt the power delivery i know i've been banging on about it but it is really impressive on this bike sound good angry i can tell straight away the stock one is a lot more squishy feeling a lot more squishy feeling that's a dampy road i want the decent suspension for this twisty bit yeah it, it doesn't feel as well suspended i mean it's incredibly good for an eight thousand pound motorcycle and it is impressive this wp stuff but I can tell straight away it's a bit more squishy there's certainly not as much preload in this oh cold tyres I'm not pushing any more than that with coldies cold it's it's a sweet handling bike though there's a reason they nicknamed this the scalpel it's got some corner credentials yeah it's a bit more bounce, a bit definitely a bit more bouncy the suspension on the stock version definitely a little bit more bouncy because you know it's non-adjustable obviously you, it's set you know for the average rider all of that sort of stuff but yeah it's definitely got a little bit but it's, it's very good though even even still it's very good yeah the whole bike felt a little bit more alive on that one because it had it was a bit higher at the rear everything's a little bit more on the nose this one feels a little bit more lethargic I mean it's an agile bike anyway but I'm noticing that where the, where the rear is obviously either sinking more because I'm heavier whereas the other one had more support but it's definitely uh, nicer with a bit more a bit more rear up well it's happened the rain has finally caught up with us 
we're now 75 miles into the trip we're still east of Worcester so we're still heading towards Worcester and uh, yeah the roads have been pretty decent it's such a shame about the weather I want the one back with the upgraded suspension oh here we go absolutely pissing down now this one's a lot more squidgy oh, you know I've been spoilt now <laughs> with that kit, kit suspension on that uh, the one Aaron's now riding oh, it, it gives it so much more support and I guess being sort of 20 stone I'm noticing it more than most as well but yeah that was delicious oh, oh close up it's wet out there it may be wet but look at that view I hate really pushing in the wet <laughs> I don't like it so we're on the A44 still two miles out of Leominster and the sun is out, blue skies. We're 95 miles into the trip now, still on the first tank of fuel. Bike says I've got, it's got half a tank in it basically, it says I've got 80 miles range. So that it's, it does impress me, these things do sip fuel and I have been giving it a bit, fair bit of throttle as well. But they return pretty decent mileage, these bikes. And uh, yeah, I say no, we, we set off at I think at 9.30, it's now 12.20. Starting to feel it a little bit in the bum now. Not too bad, just a tiny little bit. You know, a comfort seat would be appreciated, I think, if you're gonna spend all day in the saddle on one of these. But because it's wide, you know, I find it pretty comfortable. Looks like we're coming in for a bit of a fuel stop to top them up. As I say, I've got 80 miles range left. <laughs> <laughs> That's not neutral top seat. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I've seen your riding, Kate. Here's lunch. The OK Diner. I think I'm to a cheeseburger. Uh, should have got the BLT, mate. It's a bit disappointing, my ultimate cheeseburger. So there we go. The OK Diner. I think the name <laughs> says it all. Come on, give us a thumbs up, give us a thumbs up. Yay! How was your lunch? It was alright. Mine was okay. Black in taste, flavour, consistency and volume. So I think we've got another sort of hour and a half now. And then we're going to meet up with the videographer. And we're going to do a few little flybys for some video. And he's brought his drone. Apparently it's at a dam. It's, we're going to a dam. The barometer shop. Wow, that that's that's a bit specific, isn't it? How many barometers does one need? I would argue you need any. Now who's thinking what the hell's a barometer? <laughs> One sounds better than yours. Tutti frutti on Rudy. You can see we've been to an American di diner, can't you? Tutti frutti. And Rudy, I wanted to have one of the ultimate shakes, but no one else was having a shake, and I wanted a cold drink. I, I wanted really a Coke and a shake. Uh, maybe we'll stop there on the way back, and I'll, and I'll get the milkshake then. But if the ultimate shake was anything like the ultimate burger, it's probably going to be pretty okay. I do love a bit of supermoto mode, <laughs> the KTM. Bit of super moto mode where you can lock the back tyre up. I mean, if I owned on my own bike, it's completely pointless because there's no way I'd just ruin my own tyre by doing big skids. <laughs> but when you want someone else's and someone else is paying the tyre bill, then I'm all over it. Super moto mode, yes, please. Well, we've got some dry roads and we've got some twisties. This is uh, hotting up now, hotting up. Just got to get past this death machine. And then we could be in for some dry roads and twisties. Oof. <laughs> That's something out of final destination. I think the roads are just now going to just keep getting better and better and better. Until we hit Wales. I don't know where we are now. I think we're still east of Worcester at the moment. Oh, this is more like it. Twisties. And I think dry twisties. Are we in Wales? We're not in Wales yet, are we? Oh, yes, it's lovely, isn't it? 
Pembridge, in case you're wondering. Looks like Diagon Alley out of Harry Potter. <laughs> Nancy Clutch again. We must be in Wales now. I haven't seen any sort of Welcome to Wales signs, but they're starting to show the English and the Welsh translations on the signpost, which must mean we're actually in Wales. And we've got lots of sheep. We must be in Wales. Look at that. Look at how an old 928 Porsche. I used to really want the 928 Porsche. of the poor bike absolutely minging so what we got sit rep wise we're 120 miles into the trip it's now five past or six minutes past two i'm as fresh as daisy that little bit of numbness i had in my bum since i started moving around on the bike and getting shifted that's gone now i feel as fresh as a daisy dirty gertie you're right okay do you want a hand you can't get it in the hole there you go you're in the I'm in the hole now. Give <laughs> it straight up, touching the helmet, sort of. There we go. Oh my god, don't put my innuendos in. <laughs> of course I will. Simon's thinking, who have I come out with here? A load of bloody vloggers. Bloody YouTubers. Yeah. The only thing worse than us is like Mossy comes out with a camera. I should have asked if we we're actually in Wales. <laughs> I think so. I want to go back on the one with the kit suspension. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That tightens up. Simon's pushing the uh, adventure version. Those semi tyres. Impressive, isn't it? <laughs> it's like a track day. Yeah, it's a really impressive motorcycle for an £8,000 middleweight, now £7,000, it is really impressive. I think we're definitely in Wales, <laughs> we're definitely in Wales now. Welcome to Wales. Yeah, I can say it without putting on a stereotypical Welsh accent. Welcome to Wales, boy all! Aberystwyth right. Uh, I guess we're going right. I don't know where we are now. Tea rooms. I could use a coffee already. Look at this. Raya. Raya. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Rayanda. Rayanda. Turkish delights. I think you have to be a proper Welsh speaker <laughs> to even attempt some of the. <laughs> I'm not even trying. Sticky clutch. Unintentional. Oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous around here. If you got the weather, Wales is one of the prettiest places in the world. Absolutely spectacular. <laughs>
pretty spectacular. There they are, the Duke brothers <laughs> and sister. You can hear my overcoat. <laughs> Bloody tourists! Look at the view of the river down there, look. Wow. Bloody spectacular. Oh, here's the dam. Is this the dam? It's got to be the dam, surely. Wow, oh, it's windy. Look at that. Beautiful. And if I'd been prepared, I knew we were coming here. I could have given you a little bit of information about this dam. Well, I don't know anything, I'm afraid. Oh, incredible round here, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Always amazes me when I come to Wales. It's just so incredible. It's like you're not part, you're not in the UK anymore. I mean, let's look at this. It doesn't look like the UK, does it? Absolutely stunning. It's a little uh, dam here and it's absolutely gorgeous. Us four, more or less. Aaron's still got his sticky clutch, and uh, we're a good hour or so away still. We've been fanning about there doing video and drone footage and aerial stuff, and uh, yeah, I think the day's got away from us a little bit. And we've got another load of rain on the way in by the look of it. So let's see how far we get before we get soaked. Oh, that's proper rain. That's proper rain. Oh, that's lovely. Beautiful Welsh weather. Trips and data, trip one. There we go. We've done 165 miles, 66.8 miles per gallon. Unbelievable. Average speed of 43 miles an hour. Again, just under four hours. I reckon we've got 70 miles left in the tank, so. Yeah, have you? How many, uh, what miles per gallon are you doing? Let's have a game of Top Trumps. I'm 66.8. What, from Trumps and one? Yeah. 61.6. Ooh, so you're not as frugal as me. You spit too much of that, Kate. That's the several. I should have been five minutes. <laughs> I've been riding it all morning. <laughs> top speed? Average speed, that is. Average 43. What? 43. I'm only 20. <laughs> oh, you've done this. I've done, yeah. This is the one you've been, this is the one you've been riding all morning though, Kate, this grey one, <laughs> to be fair. It's now ten to six, so I've been on the bike since half nine, I think we left. It's really comfortable, my arse is in perfect comfort. You know, it's, I've been really impressed with the comfort actually. At one point I thought my bum was getting a bit sore, but because we've done quite a lot of stopping and starting, we've probably only done sort of four or five hours on the bike, I'd imagine. During the day, the rest of it's just been faffing. And pictures and tea and coffee and burgers. <laughs> but the bike's been impressive. It's been really impressive, the little Jew. I'm looking forward to trying the adventure version tomorrow. So we'll do a separate video on the adventure. And uh, as I say, we're gonna be doing a little bit of off-road at Sweet Lamb as well. And with all the rain we've had today, it's going to be a little bit skiddy and slippy, I'd imagine, there tomorrow, but we'll see. But it's an impressive little package, the Duke 790, I have to say. A really sweet motor, really good chassis, decent suspension, you know, for the price, the price bracket of the bike. It's got, the, I think, class leading suspension for the class. And uh, yeah, and you've got options to put some proper decent K 
kit on it as well, you know, from the WP accessories range. But yeah, it's an impressive package and with a thousand pound off at the moment, seven grand, it's incredible. It's incredible for seven thousand pound this bike. The chocolate shop. Oh the shop. On a bit of the chocolate shop. Oh this is the life. We got the rubber duck. Oh this is warm. This is uh it's 40 degrees. There's nothing quite like it at the end of a hard day's riding. Get your rubber ducky and get in the hot tub. Look at the view. There we go, thanks for watching. I'm going to join my soak and I'll see you on part two. See you there, guys. Woo Absolutely horrible out here. Lovely.